How's it going gamers? Laz here, and this is the last video of GM Guides for Season of the Chosen. In this video, we're going to run through the Insight Terminus. And if you've been following along all season, this will complete either Conqueror for all you first-time GM gamers, or it'll guild that title for all you veteran GM chads. Let's hop in. This GM is a lot like Warden of Nothing in the same way that it's not overly difficult to get through the majority of it, but that the boss room is just such a pain to deal with. So for this Grandmaster, I'm going to recommend a Chaos Reach Warlock with Geomags, a Banner Shield Titan with Ursas, and another Warlock running Stasis. Let's take a quick look at the Stasis build we're taking in. We're building around the Bleak Watcher Grenades, which I'll be referring to as Stasis Buddies from here on out. I recommend getting as high of a discipline tier as you can. At max, it says we'll have a 53 second cooldown for our grenades, but with I Have Another World equipped, that cooldown drops to about 44 seconds. We're running Whisper of Hedrons to gain some bonus damage after we freeze an enemy, which will happen a lot with Stasis Buddy. Whisper of Durance to increase the time of the slow effect from our abilities and Whisper of Torment to increase our grenade recharge rate when we take damage from enemies. Let's be honest that the GM will be taking a decent amount of damage. All of this combined should give us a decent amount of grenade energy, which should, in turn, give us access to a whole lot of stasis buddies. For weapons, we all ran Anarchy. I don't want to hear it. The two Warlocks both ran the Succession Sniper. One Warlock ran an Unstoppable Palindrome, and the other ran an Unstoppable Last Perdition. Our Titan ran a 7th Seraph Officer Revolver and a Truth Teller with Blinding Grenades. For mods, we have some returning favorites with some new appearances. Protective Light, you know why. Taking Charge, to get charged with light. Charged Up, to increase our charge with light charges. Reactive Pulse, cause it's growing on you and you actually enjoy running it, right? Plus, if paired with another Arc Mod, you get an Overshield when you do a Finisher. Special Finisher, so you can make special ammo when you do those just mentioned finishers. Our Titan took a bit of a different approach. They ran the usual Protective Light and Taking Charge combo, but they also ran Cellular Suppression. Shooting a Warmind Cell while having this mod equipped will emit a Shockwave that suppresses the enemies it hits. It basically acts as a secondary form of Blinding Nades. Warmind's Longevity to increase the duration of Warmind Cells and Warmind's Protection to take reduced damage from enemies that are near Warmind Cells. The idea around the entire Titan build is to make sure that the enemies are blinded as often as possible. Pair that with the Warlock Stasis build, which will freeze everything it sees, and you're looking at some top tier ad control with little to no drawbacks. Quick tip, if you're not the one running Cellular Suppression on your team, do not shoot Warmind Cells. Just call them out for your Suppression Gamer so they know where they are. Just like I said previously, this isn't that tough of a GM up until the boss room, so play it at your own pace. In the first room, we have two barriers to deal with right at the start. Bake them down, clear the adds, then you have another barrier in the back of the room. Like everything else, if anyone on the fire team needs the ammo, special finish everything you can. In the following area, I recommend the Titan blind the close enemies, and have your Stasis Warlock toss their Stasis Buddy across to the other side of the arena. Take out the close adds, then start working on the adds across the way. I recommend burning the barrier champ and taking out the Scion Snipers ASAP. Then you can ship away at the rest of the adds and push through. In this plate room, shoot Cargan from far away to get him to leave, and toss some anarchy around the portal in front of you. Throw down another stasis buddy and prepare for two unstoppables to spawn. It's not as crazy as it sounds, just stop them ASAP, and let the stasis buddy do its thing while you burn down the adds. Once you're good, go through the portal. Stay to the left side here and the Vex crap on the ground won't hit you. Continue with the Stasis Buddy and Blinding Nade combo while your Titan utilizes any Warmind Cells they create to suppress the adds. Once you've cleared all the adds, set Anarchy Traps around the portals on the left and right sides of the room. Shoot Kargan again to get him to leave and another ad wave will spawn. My group set up shop in this corner. Use what you have to take out the adds. Don't be afraid to use your supers often. If you have it and there's adds around, just pop. No use in holding a super just to potentially wipe and bring it to orbit. The idea of this team comp is to use as many supers as possible to make it easier to deal with the adds. Speaking of adds, don't forget that there's another ad spawn in the back of the room as well. Once you've dealt with everything, set more anarchy traps around the portals and have one of your teammates dunk the charge. 
Once the dunk happens, another wave of ads will spawn. This is basically a rinse and repeat of the previous wave. Abuse your range, spam your supers, throw as many stasis buddies as your arm can handle, and clear out the ads. And don't forget about the spawn in the back of the room also. Once you're clear, dunk the last charge and be prepared to deal with a few douchey headless vex, then you're off to the boss room. On the way to the boss room, I recommend getting any special finishers you need so everyone can be topped off with ammo, especially your Titan's blinding nade grenade launcher. There's two semi-decent places where you'll be relatively safe here, but basically you just gotta control the ads. Place one is here, I used it a bit in my runs, and place two is right over here. Neither place is 100% safe, but they do provide you enough breathing room to gain your bearings if anything goes sideways. Stand on the plate. Once you see the enemy spawning, throw a stasis buddy out in front of you. That way it can target anything that's coming towards you. Once the plate is capped, I recommend everyone hitting the boss with Anarchy. Have the Chaos Reach meme beam the boss, have the Titan pop banner, and the stasis lock can snipe through said banner. Once the banner is out, everyone hit the boss again with two more Anarchy and keep your distance. Toss another stasis buddy out and have your Titan use the suppression from the Warmind cells and the blinding nades they have to control the adds while the other two work on sending the boss away. Once the boss is gone, again, more stasis buddy plus blinding nades to control the adds. I recommend capping either the left or right plate first, and then going to the opposite plate second, ending with the middle plate. The adds don't stop spawning here, so just keep using your abilities, chain your supers off each other, and cap each point one by one. Once the boss comes back out, it's more of the same. Stasis buddy, blind adds, chain supers, and damage the boss. After what feels like an eternity, Cargan will fall. GG's. If this is your first season doing GMs, congrats on getting Conqueror. If you're a returning GM gamer, then this should be your Gilded Seal, and GG's on that as well. That wraps up my Grandmaster Guides for Season of the Chosen. I plan on doing more guides again next season, along with some other Destiny-related videos as well, and I hope to see you there. Once again, I stream fairly regularly on Twitch. Link is in the description below. I'll be doing GM helps every weekend for the rest of the season. So if you've watched these guides but don't have a group to game with, stop by and we'll get you those clears. You can follow me on Twitter to stay up to date. That link is also in the description. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a dislike if you didn't, drop a comment down below so we can talk some more, subbing is cool I guess, and Laz, out. I can't